What if you could design a car that ignored aerodynamic turbulence? A car that sucked itself to the ground giving drivers perfect grip no matter the speed? That is exactly what Brabham did in 1978. And just as quickly as the idea appeared, it was gone. Why? In the late 1970s, ground effect cars ruled Formula One using skirts and underbody aerodynamics to create insane downforce. But turbulence and dirty air made overtaking difficult, and Brabham's designer Gordon Murray had a radical idea. Instead of just relying on aerodynamics, what if you could force air out from underneath the car? Murray designed a fan system that sucked the car to the ground, creating instant downforce without needing large wings. This meant that no matter the track conditions, bumps, corners, or slipstream, the BT-46B had unmatched stability. Brabham unleashed the BT-46B at the Swedish Grand Prix, and the result? Complete domination. Nicky Lauda cruised to victory leaving rivals shocked at how planted the car was through corners. But the rival teams were not happy. They argued it was a moving aerodynamic device violating Formula One's regulations. Brabham countered, saying the fan was only cooling the engine, making it technically legal. Despite its legality the political pressure was too strong. The FIA did not officially ban it, but Brabham was forced to withdraw the car after just one race. And just like that, one of Formula One's most brilliant designs was erased. Could the fan car have changed Formula One forever? What if teams had embraced the idea instead of protesting it? Let me know, should fan-based aerodynamics make a comeback?